welcome to Micro Minutes. For those that don't know, and this is your first time, our hope and our desire is to help entrepreneurs understand how close they really are to success and to never give up. Matter of fact, one of the things that we like to say is you're closer to the top than you think. I'm your micro entrepreneur specialist, Kenneth Manessi Sr., and boy, do we have a show for you today. If you haven't seen her around, it just means you haven't been on Google+. Plus. I'm talking about Jess Duell. Not only is she the founder of Red Direction, but every day you can find her on social media asking some inspirational questions. What we get to see each and every day is her smiley face and what we call around here her sparkle. Jess, welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. <laughs> Did you you like got that? it all. I liked that very much. I even liked the presentation. That was very cool and very welcoming. Well, thank you. What we're going to hear today on Microminence is Jess's story. Jess, as the owner of RedDirection.com and as somebody who, as your bio says, lives online, can you share <laughs> with us a story about how you got here? I um, went to college and met this guy who had this crazy idea. His name was Ben. And it really wasn't a crazy idea. It was 1996. And he had this idea of putting together this thing called e-commerce. And what the heck was e-commerce? And, and the internet and being able to be online was really new. And he wanted me to learn to code to do this with him. And I just kind of laughed. And I said, I'll support you. I'll do something. But it's not going to be coding. That's not my thing. I'm going to be a biochemist instead. Who needs code when you can be a biochemist? And so, so after a while, I met this guy, now my husband, who was an English major who also wasn't a coder, but loved the idea. And it, I hooked the two of them up, and they were building the they they were building this idea of this e-commerce system. One day, I'm like, "You guys, you're having so much fun. This is great. You're almost ready. It's it's prototyped. So, you're both." introverts, you both like your computer, you don't really like to talk to people, who is going to market and sell this thing and talk to people? And they looked at each other and then they looked at me and the rest was history. My entire career has been online and it started in the world of e-commerce way back when I was going to be a biochemist. Well, everybody that knows me knows that that did not happen and that was a sad day that I let that go. And I think we should talk a little bit about what are all of the things that didn't happen for Red Direction to be here today and for me to have the success that I have? What do you think about that, Ken? Success, the only time you really truly fail is if you quit. And obviously we know that's not your story. You didn't quit, so Got tell it. us what happened. When Register Now came along and that became a possibility, I like found my first platform where I was like, oh, I totally get this. I totally can use all of these natural things that I do well and talk to people. Well, then guess what I found out? I found out that all the people I needed to talk to were coders. Very engineering oriented, very logical. You have to have a lot of proof. And here I am. I feel a lot. I laugh a lot. I listen a lot. And I tell you the way that it is, but it doesn't always have proof. <laughs> so I decided I would try and learn to code which was a really endearing experience for Ryan, my husband. My very first program was a dog. He was a 2D dog, and all he could do was speak a speaking bubble that said wolf and wag his tail. I was pretty proud of myself for just a couple of weeks, That's what I was, and then I was done. I was like, nope, not going to code. Confirmed it right here. Biochemistry, I love you. It was a very sad goodbye. But it was the right thing to do because that was not where my calling was. My calling was to be with people and to help people connect to other people. That whole portion of my life set me up for the what I what I now am and what I have morphed into. I, morph wasn't the right word. <laughs> I was picturing this in my head. Here is this lively energetic person going in talking to these coders that mm -hmm. probably you know don't even turn the lights on most of the time and spend most of their evenings with a Red Bull doing nothing staring into the screen and here comes this bubbly person I probably couldn't have been a really great fit. In fact when I would go to trade shows everybody thought I was hired just to be at the trade show. <laughs> they had no idea my job was business development my goal was to educate and listen and help them figure out how to 
be the color they are and talk to the people that wanted to buy their product and that we would help connect them right there in the middle with the shopping cart, well, the payment experience, right? And so I listened a lot. And when I finally opened my mouth and we had the first conversation I participated in, every single head in the room went, what just came out of her mouth? <laughs> because I knew what I was talking about. I think that that says a lot. To know your audience and to know what you're doing and how you're doing it and how it actually relates to them even when your personalities don't quite match. So my bubbly personality preceded me. I became somebody people looked forward to seeing at conferences, looked forward to receiving email from, looked forward to having conversations with, and I would say probably most of the time. Maybe not all the time. Most of the time. Think about where we've come even in the last five years, the fact that we can have this real experience, we can have a connection that takes us so much further. For us to be able to have done this any other time, I would have had to fly to you, or you would have had to fly to me, or we would have had to have serious quantities of equipment to hook us all together. And we don't need that anymore. And that, to me, is absolutely fascinating because we get to bring this personal touch together. Help us to go on a journey with you now. Sure. Obviously, you are now the owner of RedDirection.com. Mm -hmm. Well, how did that come about? How did we get on <laughs> that journey? Tell us a little bit about what Red Direction is and how it is sure. that you're helping entrepreneurs. Red Direction is a consulting firm, and mm -hmm. there are several people that work with me. I have Heather, who does general website. I have a copywriter, Pam. I do a lot of listening, and I spend a lot of time looking and hearing because it's what's not said where the biggest opportunity is or where the most obvious next step might be because we all get stuck in these places that we've built ourselves so I ask a lot of questions and I ask even more questions and then I start saying some things and they either resonate or they don't and sometimes they resonate really well and sometimes they really really create friction and I'm like oh well there's opportunity in both of those places okay so take a step back ask some more questions let's keep going and we build processes to help people find the customers they want feel confident in what they are doing and know that the actions that they are taking are measurable and if they're not getting the results they want with one message what to look for and how to go back with or without my help at that point to really continue to build that presence so how do you do that? And how do you have fun doing that? And how do you not take yourself too darn seriously? I mean, we all get stuck in this thing and we have to laugh at ourselves sometimes. You can just tell by watching and listening, you have that entrepreneurial spirit. You, it just comes out of you just like water. And one of the things that I love about your story is there's something there that really resonated and I hope that the entrepreneurs that are watching got a chance to hear it. I'm thankful that, Jess, you got a chance to let go of some of those ideas that could have kept you grounded and never got you to this place where you are now with Red Direction and really helping entrepreneurs do the one thing that they need to have done. And that is sit back and have a perspective of their business or their idea from an outside source. That's so important. I know that you have a hashtag that you use to help people find out more about you. Can you share that hashtag with us? It's pound purposeful action and anything you're doing. And this is how I want to know about you guys. One way I listen is I will share things with resources attached to them with the hashtag purposeful action so that you can easily and quickly find things that I went, oh, this might help you find a dot or connect a dot. That means I'm listening to that hashtag too, so I know what is going on and what you like and what you're learning from and the resources that you think help you take purposeful action so that I can learn as well. I love the idea that you've married that idea of your story and listening and now helping people tell their stories. It's just so important as business owners. We hear it over and over, but yet who's helping people to tell stories? That's important. And there are different pieces of that, Ken. You've got the storytellers. You have the dot connectors that help rearrange the different pieces so you're working with the same stuff and you rearrange them. I'm a dot finder. <laughs> I, I put more dots into the mix, which kind of make people go, eh, or yay, aha, either way, good things. <laughs> One of the things that 
I use as a sign off is on your team. And here's why. In business, there's no such thing as someone finding success. Success comes from a team and every someone needs somebody. And the somebody you need is somebody on your team. And I hope, entrepreneurs, you'll take the time to do just that. Get somebody like Jess on your team. Here's the important thing that you might not have been able to hear during the show. The important thing is, is that Jess is listening. Isn't that what we need to have help in business? For somebody to listen well just I can't say how much I appreciate you coming on and being a part of this show and more than that literally helping us to hear your story and hear the fact that you're ready to listen to our story and help us on our team Jess thank you so much for sharing your story thank you for being on the show thank you for having me